All right, I'm here at, uh, where is this? Cold, Cold, Mountain. Cold Mountain in North Carolina, outside of Lake Toxaway. Uh, it's, we're gonna hike the uh, Big Green and Little Green Mountain. I think it's about eight miles, eight and a half miles, something like that. I got Nick with me. And uh, we haven't been up in this section, so uh, we're going to uh, see what we can get into, see what it looks like, see how it goes. Yeah, the temperatures drop significantly. It's like being in Canada. <laughs> you wasn't expecting this, huh? I brought the weather with me. Wow, look how look how clear the water is. Uh oh. This is not at all what I was expecting. It's a pretty nice boardwalk. Do you remember the name of this? I'll tell you, one second. That's a nice swimming area. Yeah, it is. This is Max Falls, N A C S. Max Falls. Oh, no, no, no. This is Schoolhouse Falls. Schoolhouse Falls. Yeah, Max is on the other side. Okay. Falls. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice camping spot there. It's so dark in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is cool. Okay, well we made it to the top of the falls. Really can't see much. And I'm not going out anymore. Nick had to belly crawl through the... Are these mountain walls or rhododendrons? Because we got corrected, me and Mark got corrected one time. Oh yeah? One of them grows at a higher elevation than the other. I can't remember which is which. I would assume not more, but I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see the other side? 
rock faces. Yeah. I'm still coming out. Oh wow. Got to go all the way down there maybe. Oh this is so cool. This is nice. Mountains everywhere. And I'm not even scared yet. <laughs> Doesn't look as steep in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might get you here in just a second. Yeah, that's gonna get me. <laughs> look at that. Get a little slide off right there. Get right there. My steps are getting shorter, so. You get through there, you can see pretty good. Yeah, that's not it's not bad. Well, I'm not disappointed. No, this was a better view than I don't know why we didn't see pictures of this view. We might have to update hiking project. Yeah. up here i was i was really worried that there wasn't going to be a view on this hike this turned out great yeah well the rock's very grippy oh yeah it's not bad at all i feel i feel comfortable which is saying a lot <laughs> <laughs> usually i'm drawn up It just keeps going on it because it so this is the other side of little green mountain you get to see a little bit more of the valley i think that valley probably goes to lake talks away it, it was a little a little steep but it was not too bad still in my comfort zone which is very small I hear people, it sounds like they're coming from the top of that rock face over there. So, you know what, Nick? I bet that Panther Valley or Panther Gap Trail, whatever it is, probably goes along that ridge. Oh, uh, we definitely might have to come back out here and do that. Yeah. So, we heard some people over on the other side, and Nick looked on the map, and that looks like it is Black Rock Mountain. So, we're definitely going to have to come back and check it out yeah this is this was a pretty cool trail definitely worth worth the drive up here we were trying to decide whether to go to this or Pinnacle Park, which was up on a parkway, and it was another hour drive for us. So, and it was a 12 and a half mile hike, and I don't know if I'm up for it yet.
You just told me what the name of this was. Frolic Town. Frolic Town Falls. Pretty cool. This tree looks like it's had an interesting life. It's dead, but it's huge. Well, I got stung by a yellow jacket. Their nest is right there. I wonder if that dog might have went through. It's right off the trail here. Here, I'll just lay these in the trail. That way, we'll tell somebody. Oh, she go. <laughs> That's the trail roll. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> you said lay and you threw it right on <laughs> Oh, I done got them all stirred up too. All right. I know that. I'll look for that dead tree right there. That's behind that big one. Oh, yeah, the big. Yeah. Big one and then the dead one behind it. All right. Pretty cool. This is Wilderness Trail Falls. We thought it was going to be tiny, but it's actually pretty tall. We don't need a straight stuff over here, sir. I wonder if there's a trail. Did the trail go on around to get to the top? I don't know. Okay, that was a big effort for no reward. We got up to the top of the falls, but you can't really see anything because of the cover. But anyway, I don't recommend going to the top of Wilderness Falls. Okay, we're back at the Yellow Jacket stance. We got to go back through. <laughs> Nick's going to be the first one. He's just gonna run through and stomp them, make them, make them mad, so. The group that came through before us got stung. A couple of them got stung. Well, they came, they came after us. Too fast for you, yellow jackets. Man, we should have thrown a stick on them. <laughs> let's let's identify it for everybody else let's throw a stick in a hole make them mad so when they come by they'll see them <laughs> so it's probably my fault those people got stung well you were blaming the dog for you getting stung <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, if that's the worst thing that happens today, it'll be a good day. Oh, there's that old crooked tree. Yep. We're at uh, 6.2 miles, and we still we still haven't even made it to the mountain yet. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a nice open area. It is. I'm just gonna make sure I find the trail. You're people out. There. Yeah. How are you? Hey. Enjoy your day? Yeah, enjoy. Yeah. Beautiful horses. Hello. Well, thank you. <laughs> Y'all enjoy. You too. You got a pretty day. All right. This is another hidden gem we found absolutely incredible uh they call this trail the great wall you know why yeah it is it's just a huge wall of granite we're trying to get a get a better view it's beautiful so we got stuck here, couldn't go up anymore, couldn't come down. Uh, well, we could come down, but we couldn't come down and go around. We tried a couple of different routes, but 
the vegetation is too thick and it's too steep and we have no gear so we're going to climb back down and go the normal way which is not as fun that rock still rolling it stopped <laughs> okay i was waiting to see <laughs> yeah me too not sure what this is we hope it's not poison and sumac but if it is, we'll be taking a trip to the uh, Mercer room tomorrow. So this wall of granite keeps going. And we gotta hike to the top of it. Which means we gotta do some serious climbing. We're at mile seven. Really cool. Still can't believe I've never been out here and never heard of this. There's another wall over there, rock wall. I know, I saw that from up up. The other wall. I was too busy looking at the one on my left. That's pretty cool. Wow. That took some time. Yeah. Rock stairs. Thank you to whoever done this. This is the trail of the Big Green Mountain. It's pretty grown up. I, I thought it would be traveled more, a little more open. We're almost to the top. We're at 8.2 miles. So it's definitely gonna be more than an eight and a half mile hike, but we did do a lot of scrambling bushwhacking oh, that's a... ow, 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 ow. Rawr. Yeah, you, you got it yep I got it you got me good that's got a lot of thorns on it <laughs> it was it was always straight across the trail so I was, man, right into it. I was looking up oh look at that is that that piece you were talking about that big mountain way out there yeah it may be Well, we made it. We're the only ones out here. We were down at the bottom of this earlier. And we went that way. Uh, this way. Thinking that we would get back to where we tried to climb up but it just kept getting thicker and thicker with mountain laurel at some point it dropped straight off I know this <laughs> We were walking.
walking just off of. Oh yeah. Oh man, are you kidding me? Look at that. That's a big pool there. Yeah. Pretty cool way. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Expecting this to come out on the power line. Did we cross under it? I don't think we did. I don't oh, it's always good to see your vehicle when you're done with a six and a half hours of hike. Yeah, I ended up with. 12.75, six hours and 33 minutes. That's got to be the longest hike ever. I mean, for us, for a 12 mile hike because all the bushwhacking and stuff we've done. All right, so that was um, Big Green Mountain and Little Green Mountain hike. It said it was uh, 8.5 miles on hiking project and we ended up taking a lot of spur trails to the waterfalls and we ended up with 12.6 Nick you got 12.6 six you got seven five so yeah. somewhere in there so we uh what do you think of it pretty sweet trail I mean surprisingly there are so many hidden items on that thing that we weren't expecting the views were spectacular some really really cool waterfalls too yeah, I agree. Uh, on the way down here, we were uh, thinking that maybe this was uh, the second option instead of the first. The first option was Pinnacle Park uh, hike, which was 12 and, a, 12 and a half miles, 12.1 miles, something like that. And I didn't think I could do it because of the climb and ended up getting 12, 
12.6, 12.7 miles anyway, but the climb wasn't bad. Uh, we probably had, what, a 11, 1,200 feet. Yeah, that's what it said. With all of the scrambling and up and down we did, I think mine was closer to 1,800 or so. Yeah. We did have a nice little uh, scramble up the mountainside there on the Great Wall Trail, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was, a. Uh, I, I wasn't scared either, you know, I was able to hug the uh, tree line all the way up, so <laughs> that was, uh, wasn't too bad. So, uh, Nick's in town from uh, Nova Scotia. We had a, a death in the family. Our grandfather passed away. He was uh, 96 and just a, a great man. He taught us about keeping our, you know, uh, family values and working hard, uh, following Christ, and uh, just a, a good influence and a good example for, for me and Nick both uh, as we were growing up. We we all thought a lot of them. And, um, but anyway, we Nick's in town for that, and we were able to get a hike in, so uh, it worked out to where we could go today and uh, get a hike in. So we're north of Lake Toxaway. Uh, we found this trail on, on Hiking Project. And uh, anyway, it was a, a pleasant surprise. I'm glad we got to do it. Uh, a lot of hidden gems and uh, just, just a great time. Nick, I got some questions for you while you're here. Absolutely. All right. East Coast only because West Coast is entirely different ball game. Okay. What, was, what is your favorite hike on the East Coast? Oh, wow. That you've done? Favorite hike that I've done? Uh, you know, it would probably be for me, uh, the Triple Crown in Virginia. It was yeah. probably my favorite hike. I got to do it with Scott and another great buddy of ours, Mark. <laughs> and just a ton of fun. It was a birthday gift for me, but hanging out with these guys, backpacking, and then, I mean, you've got Tinker Cliffs, uh, the Dragon's Tooth, which was awesome. And then, uh, of course, McAfee's Knob, which is just the, the highlight of the Appalachian Trail. So I think for me, it's got to be that. Yeah, yeah, me too, um, most definitely. Uh, that's a good ride for us. It's five and a half hours, and you know, Ethan and I went back up and did it, and right. I think he would say the same thing. It's just an incredible, incredible hike. Um, look at that, wow. More rock faces. <laughs> yeah. Um, close second would be the Rowan Mountain hike, maybe. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Jane's Bald. Uh, All the way out the Little Round Top and Big Round Top. I did that hike. Uh, myself I did that as an anniversary hike with my wife yeah it was a ton of fun great hike views are awesome weather was wonderful um, so some great stops along the way I know you've done that hike we backtracked up the wrong mountain yeah uh, so yeah that's another really really good one all right craziest hike you ever done <laughs> Well, not not counting the trail runs because that's like a whole nother level. Yeah, because so. I was gonna probably go Georgia Death Race with some crazy stuff that we did. Uh, craziest run that we got in maybe unexpectedly over our head surprised us was the snow run. Oh yeah. So headed up to take a spur trail from Caesar's Head to uh, Pinnacle Mountain or not Pinnacle? Uh, where are we headed up to? Uh see Caesar's head yeah we were going to do uh, the spur trail over to Sassafras Sassafras that's what's left my mind for there for a second yeah. so the pinnacle uh, or the trail to Sassafras we headed up there and what we found was a ton of snow that was unexpected and so we ended up having to turn around and go back we didn't feel like we could go the full 10 12 miles it took so once we reached there uh, that area we turned and found some side trails headed down saw some ice cliffs and faces and headed even further down into uh, the bottomland there by the river and got into uh, some bear territory saw uh, some tracks and stuff around 
headed back out and all of this in 10, 12 inches of snow and, uh, and ice all around. So the downhill parts were, downhill trail running was like downhill skiing. So it was a lot of fun, but yeah. totally, totally unexpected. Well, I had, I had forgot about that. Not that I had forgot about it, but it was, that was an incredible run. And uh, we ended up with 15 miles anyway, I think. I think so, yeah. And, um, but I was going to say the craziest um, hike that we, we ever done was LeConte in the 60 mile an hour gust <laughs> winds. It sounded like we were behind a 747 taking off as that wind came down through those trees. And you forgot your hydration pack. Too, I right? forgot everything when we got to the trailhead. So it was like, and it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was definitely one that uh, was for the books. Yeah. All right. Well, I was just thinking about that whenever uh, we were hiking. I was like, uh, I'd like to get a couple of our favorite memories, uh, share them with everybody. I wish I wished I would have been recording. I wish I would have had those uh, on video because those were some spectacular hikes. Oh yeah. So might have to go back and do them again, but the snow hike just worked out. You know, it was just perfect conditions, uh, and uh, I don't know if we'll we'll get that chance again. But if I can ever get you up to where I'm at <laughs> in Nova Scotia, we'll have plenty of snow hikes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got to get up there for sure. Um, and I still, Mark's planning on doing the AT uh, next year. So maybe we can meet up, maybe we can get up uh, to uh, Katahdin and uh, yeah. try to hack that. Yeah, I've already talked to him about maybe section hiking parts of it miles. with him. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun and a great adventure there too. Yeah. All right, we got we got to get back in shape though. That was uh, that was no joke today. Right now we've got to get something to eat. Yeah, I'm starving. All right, sounds good. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.